Hey everybody, hey, happy Monday. Uh, I'm going to return today. I'm going to do do another one sent to me by my friend Robert, uh, friend and subscriber Robert. Um, I'm going to do another one of these dogfish head beers. I'm going to do their Indian Brown Ale. This is one of their year-round selections. Um, a little bit from the website, it says forget about the car companies. This is the original hybrid. A cross between a Scotch Ale, an India Pale Ale, and an American Brown. Indian brown ale is well hopped and malty at the same time. It's magical. This beer has characteristics of each style that inspired it. The color of an American brown, the caramel notes of scotch ale, and the hopping regimen of an India pale ale. We dry hop the India brown ale in a similar fashion to our 60 minute IPA and 90 minute IPA. This beer is brewed with aromatic barley and organic brown sugar. Comes in at 7.2% ABV and uh, 50 IBUs. I noticed this bottle was um, bottled on 1025-12, so it's going on five months old. Uh, so I'm wondering how many of those uh, IPA type characteristics we still have left. But uh, let's see. I'm going to use my uh, my Guinness for strength pint glass today. We get this poured and see what we have. I like Scotch Ales, I like IPAs, um, some nice little smoke out of there. Brown Ale's not one of my favorite styles, but we'll see what we have. This sounds like a real, I guess, referring to a dog, maybe it's a mutt. But anyway, yeah, it's a, wow, that's a dark brown, almost chestnut color. Just a hint of, hint of light coming through it. Um, not very much, some kind of reddish hues when where the light comes through. You got a finger of a really, really creamy looking uh, mocha colored head. Just um, really nice looking, nice looking beer. I'm I'm getting whiffs of this already, but let me get an up close nose on it. Okay, I'm getting yeah, I'm getting some getting some coffee, toffee. Some real earthy hops in there. Um, definitely getting that brown sugar. Um, some roasted malt, some caramel. There's some hints of uh, some dark fruit in there. Maybe some milk chocolate. Uh, maybe even a little bit of bittersweet chocolate. Uh, definitely got some herbal qualities. There's a little kind of a nuttiness in there too. There's a lot going on on this. So. Let me see what it tastes like. Okay, yeah, those those malts, that coffee, brown sugar, chocolate, caramel. Wow, they hit you right away. They go throughout the whole mouth. Um, definitely a sweet beer, but it's not cloying. Um, Got some, again, those earthy hops that I get on the nose. Um, slight dark fruit. A um, little bit of uh, herbal sp spiciness mixed in. Wow. I mean, it's really balanced. Um, a little bit of hop spice on the tongue. Um, rounds out to that brown sugar, the caramel, the, the bittersweet chocolate. Um, the finish is um, really where the hops kick in. Some nice um, herbal, earthy, uh, earthy hop flavors there on the finish. Um, wow, this is a nicely blended beer. It's got a really, really creamy mouthfeel. Um, got that sweet, slightly tart finish though. Um, decent carbonation, really soft and creamy. Medium bodied, um, sweet, but yet a little dry too. Um, wow, there's a lot going on here. So let me sit, sip on this a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been probably close to half an hour or so. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this beer. Uh, as it's warmed up, the, the maltiness has really come out. Uh, the hops have receded some. I think um, maybe if we're a little fresher, they might still be there. But 
this is a, still a really, really enjoyable beer. Um, it's sugary, it's malty, um, still got a, even after five months, really got a nice, uh, pleasant hot punch. Um, uh, the brown ale style is in there too. It's just a really, and it's all, it's blended so well. Um, like I said, um, and I've said on several occasions, like when I reviewed uh, brown ales, they're not my favorite style, but, um, this could change that if more and more like this. Um, I really like that uh, it uh, really, really blends nicely the uh, the Scotch Ale and IPA uh, style elements in here. Um, damn good beer. Uh, so I'm going to give the Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale on the on the label. It says a clean, well hopped brown ale. Brewed with caramelized sugar and hopped li liberally and often. I'm going to give the Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale, I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. I tell you, if uh, we could get Dogfish Head here and this were available, I'd buy this frequently. Definitely, it, wouldn't, it would definitely be a regular in my rotation for sure. So 9.5 out of 10, Dogfish Head Indian Brown Ale. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. And thank you, Robert. And I'll be working the next uh, next three nights, so there probably won't be a review again till Friday, but uh, that's the way it goes. So I don't do beer. I don't do reviews 10 o'clock at night, so cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.